screen. Okay, uh, let's get started. Hello everyone who was able to join today. And it's, uh, uh, let me present my uh, report for today. It's a Azure Migrate Unified, Unified Migration Platform. So, If in this pre presentation, we will consider center of excellence overview, Azure Migrate introduction. We will discover, uh, discover an assessment tool, migration tool, modernization, and so on. I will also provide some client uh, on-prem virtual machine migration, a short demo, and Q&A session. Uh, let me say a few words about myself. My name is Sergey. I'm an Azure DevOps uh, engineer at Center of Excellence Critical Services with more than five years commercial experience in IT and also I'm a certified Azure DevOps and network engineer. So Critical Services is a center of excellence of COE inside of SoftServe that provides cloud and DevOps, cybersecurity, managed support, and enterprise IT services for our clients. Our missions are drive cloud partnership, develop and develop cloud and DevOps competency, enable new business through technology and repeatable solutions for our clients. So Azure Migrate is a unified migration platform which provide us simply migration modernization uh, optimization services for Azure. As you can see, we can uh, separate them into two big parts uh, or phases, discovery and assessment, migration and modernization. Discovery, appliances, sent metadata, metadata and performance data discovered uh, different workloads to the Azure Migrate uh, migration, replicate uh, some appliance, modernize them, containerize, and so on, and uh, send uh, this information to the Azure Migrate project and to the cloud API provider in order to provision and create uh, our target uh, services that, uh, <laughs> that we'd like to uh, migrate from on-prem to the cloud. So we can assess on-prem or cloud uh, the following workloads like uh, service with Windows or Linux, that different databases and web applications which are hosted by IIS or Apache Tomcat web server. So databases we are able uh, to migrate to the uh, Azure virtual machine, so it will be infrastructure as a service part and or platform solution uh, kind of manage, SQL manage instance or SQL DB. Web applications, as I mentioned, uh, that are hosted by Tomcat or Aries, we can uh, port it and uh, migrate or provision to the Azure web app or Azure Kubernetes cluster. Uh, apart from that, we are able to assess our on-premise virtual desktop infrastructure and Azure Migrate provide us appropriate tools for that and it will be reflected in Azure uh, in Azure Virtual Desktop. And the same for data. We can migrate large amount of data to the Azure quickly and cost-effective way using Azure Databox products. Also, Azure Migrate provides integration with third party or independent software vendor to assess, migrate, uh, perform some analysis for our on premise or cloud infrastructure, or let's say source our workloads that we are going to migrate. 
discover and assessment servers provide uh, possibility to discover and assess uh, virtual machines that running on Hyper-V, uh, VMware, and physical servers. And uh, they apply the following things like uh, check and validate Azure readiness for workloads, um, investigate Azure sizing, uh, some forecast Azure cost estimation, dependency analysis, and so on. I've collected a few prerequisites which Discovery Appliance require for migrating, for instance, virtual machines. So for appliance, it should be uh, Windows servers uh, with at least 16 gigabyte RAM, eight CPU, and around 80 gigabytes of free uh, disk space. Outbound connectivity should be allowed in order to communicate with Azure Migrate project and inbound port for our workloads uh, or virtual machines uh, should be opened by port 5985 for Windows and 22 for, for Linux. Also, it requires some permissions uh, on subscription level, so it should be contributor or owner. Also, for uh, Azure Active Directory site, uh, should be assigned application developer lo uh, role and some permissions for Azure Kvolt in order to manage certificates. Replication appliance require uh, for migrating virtual machines. Also, I have collected uh, a few recommendation from Microsoft site, and uh, it depends on our migration scope. For instance, if we, if we are migrating more than 100 servers, we need uh, this kind of VM, this eight CPU, 16 gigabytes uh, memory, and uh, 300 gigabyte uh, free space for, uh, for drive. Uh, okay. Uh, replication or migration appliance, how it works. So we have uh, three main parts here. Mobility service is a is an agent that should be installed on each virtual machines, Linux or Windows that we are going to migrate, and it's uh, and it sends uh, replication data and so some other metadata from the server to the process server. The process servers is receiving information from mobility agent, apply some caching, compression on it, uh, and encrypt and send to the Azure, to the Azure Cloud or Azure Migrate project. And finally, we have one more agent, uh, configuration server. The configuration server is connecting to the Azure Migrate and coordinate uh, replication in general. Test migration, it's a really a useful feature that Azure Migrate provides us. During test migration, we are able to, to check and validate our migration process itself. Uh, so we can test and verify some unknown issues that might happen during migration. For instance, we have some limitations or quotes uh, or quotes or restrictions firewall, and we will see that during test migration, uh, in my case, so I saw some restrictions from uh, from the su subscription level on my on my size or SKUs that I choose for my for my virtual machines, and it require some increase in the quotes for Z type cores on that region. So it's pretty good uh, validation phase uh, on migration process that help us avoid. Uh, avoid some issues or problems uh, problems during the final migration. Business case, this is preview feature from Azure Migrate and it, it help us to create or build uh, some business proposal uh, using business case uh, to understand how Azure, uh, how Azure infrastructure will look from cost perspectives, from uh, utilization based insights and so on. And we will, uh, we can present this to our client and discuss and so on. So it's look like, looks like some, uh, simulation from cost perspective and the general infrastructure site.
Regarding Azure Database Migration Service, that Azure Migrate provides us, we are able to migrate SQL Server, uh, Postgres, MySQL, MongoDB using Azure Data Migration Service to the Azure to to the Azure database services or our targets in the Azure cloud. So it might be Cosmos DB, SQL DB, managed uh, instance, Postgres, MySQL, and so on. Uh, regarding modernization or web app uh, migration. So Azure Migrate provide us a web app migration assistance and we are able to analyze and migrate ISP.NET and Java applications to the Azure App Service or Azure Kubernetes Service or App Service. We have two opportunities here, code-based deployment and containerized-based deployment. So if you're not familiar with uh, Docker and so on, uh, Web App Migration Assistant or Modernization Tool will help us to containerize it and, and deploy it to the Azure Cloud. So this is example for uh, client migration. We have requests from client migrate uh, migrate virtual machines from on-prem environment to the Azure Cloud using lift and shift uh, migration pattern. And we had the main controller here, MySQL always on cluster, IAE's backend and frontend virtual machines and virtual machines with shared disk disks. So We've created assessment appliance servers and migration appliance servers, discovered virtual machines, replicate them and migrate to the cloud, uh, to the Azure cloud. So assessment report uh, was generated by assessment tool and we've discussed with the cloud, with the client, sorry, uh, with the client uh, recommended sizes, type of disks, uh, uh, cost estimation, and so on, and a little bit adjusted according to the client wishes. This is, uh, so migration appliance uh, replicated all virtual machines, perform uh, failover, and uh, migrated to the Azure cloud. And as a result, we have, uh, we had a lot of uh, virtual machines, target virtual machines in cloud with uh, <clears throat> virtual, virtual machine that were, uh, that were migrating to the cloud. Of course, uh, some prerequisites from network side, uh, load balancers, firewalls, and so on the applied before migration and uh, it was only required uh, to push migration button and migrate all workloads to the clouds. So quick demo, I will show you how to migrate. I will show you how to migrate uh, virtual machines to the cloud, uh, analyze, assess and migrate uh, simple web app applications based on ISP. I used example from uh, Microsoft for hello uh, the simple hello world applications to migrate it and uh, show you how it looks and SQL database also I used example from uh, from Learn Portal of Microsoft so it will be adventure works uh, sample database okay so let me switch. The... Okay, uh, so I have created a few resource group. This is resource group with name on-prem. It consists of our source virtual machines that uh, we'd like to migrate to the Azure cloud. So we have, uh, and it will be <laughs> only two virtual machines, web app. Uh, with IAEs and ISP.NET applications and my SQL DB with Microsoft uh, SQL Server. Also, as you can see, we have Discovery Appliance virtual machines and uh, migration Azure mi migration appliance for uh, replicate and migrate our workloads or virtual machines to the Azure cloud.
I have created Azure Migrate project, and as you can see, as you can see, we have uh, the general migration tool in Azure Migrate Hub. Uh, it can assess and migrate service database and web apps under the single under the single interface under the single feature or tool and also we have dedicated feature in order if we need only migrate database or web app so it also uh, has interface some recommended tool and uh, it's collecting our statistic reports that assessment uh, tool have collected and sent here. The same for the bar. Okay. So uh, this is uh, the general tool. Again, uh, Azure Migrate. It's a it's a general. It's a unified platform that have <laughs> a lot of different utilities and tools that uh, let us to migrate our workloads, our different workloads to the Azure Cloud. So we have appliance here, attached here, Azure Migrate, and the same for, uh, the same for, this is discovery appliance, and this is migration appliance in our infrastructure server that was attached here too. Okay, so let's start with, web app because it will it will take more time uh, okay let's start with discovery appliance so this is configuration manager that uh, was connected to the azure migrate uh, azure migrate project so it's require login in, it's require permission that I mentioned previously. And I have added here uh, credentials that will be used for discovering and assessment of our workloads or virtual machines and our service or virtual machines that we are going to migrate. In our case, we have a simple web app and DB server. Okay, so it uh, they were discovered and uh, and report will be saved and, and report sorry uh, was saved to the azure migrate project azure memory project we can look it here assessment so we have a virtual machine assessment uh, some analytics cost estimations so we can uh, discover this more deeply uh, more deeply and analyzed if everything is okay, if it's suitable for us. The same for Azure SQL assessment report. So we have uh, assessed one SQL instance with, uh, with one our Adventure Works database. So it proposed us some optimized base migration solution with 43. Uh, Seventy-two dollars uh, per month cost estimation, but also we have some other migration scenarios here with SQL Server Managed Instance with a little bit more <laughs> costs, uh, SQL DB, and so on. And we we can compare it and decide for us which is uh, more suitable and meet our criteria. Okay, and the same for web app assessment report. It also has some analytics, inventory, and so on. Okay. Appliances. So discovered items. Okay, it's it's already discovered. That's why it's not seen here. Uh, let's start it our demo. So we have simple web app application, ISP.NET applications. And the as a first step, let's containerize it. 
so I have already uh, I have already completed the prerequisites with some dependency signing to Azure and so on. So the next step is discover our application. I have put it IP addresses and credentials here. So as we can see, it's discovered our web app uh, Windows Server and uh, found two application. This is our applications web app. So we need to specify our container name. Specifier here. Continue. Okay, and as I mentioned before, uh, this migration tool, web app migration tool, will help us to uh, to containerize it. Uh, if we are not familiar, for instance, with Docker file and so on, so it will propose us to use. So in this case, we need to specify our. Azure Container Registry as a target for our uh, for our built image and as a source for our web app applications, and it will generate for us some typical Docker file for this kind of application. In this case, I will substitute it with my custom Docker file. Okay, save and build. So it will take some time. We need to log in again. Okay, and it will take some time. And during waiting, we will. So this is agent based migrations because uh, because we have installed it here and uh, it's containerized and port our applications to the web applications to the Azure cloud. But we have a more simplest way to do that. If we don't need to uh, containerize it and so on, and we'd like to migrate it as is to the Azure platform service like Azure Web App, we have Azure App Service Migration Assistant. So it analyzed our uh, web server and found application. This is our web app and we can very quickly to do this. So this is assessment phase. Login. Different virtual machine, that's why <laughs> we need to Login. Okay. Give him a few seconds. Okay, and we need to choose our Azure Migrate project that I showed you before. So we are using existing group, our target cloud, and it will be code-based deployment. Cloud. One. Okay, so App Service Plan will be created automatically and migrate. So let's try to check what is our building process. Still in progress.
and in Azure Cloud, Oh, okay, it's done pretty quickly. Let's try to refresh. Here it is. As you can see, this is code based deployment and our uh, simple ISP.NET applications was migrated to the cloud. Okay, still in progress. So let's try to switch to the database migrations. So for database size, we also uh, for database site, we also have two possibilities or tools uh, for migrations. Uh, the first one is a uh, Data migration assistant. The second one use Azure Data Studio. So let's start from Azure Data Studio because it also takes some time. So we have two databases here, on-prem environment and our target uh, SQL Server that was created prior because it should exist. And firstly. We need to, so we have our Adventure Works database, and we need to apply schema comparing. Let's try to do that. This is our source and target and ADS, Azure Data Studio. Okay. So Azure Data Studio is analyzing uh, schema uh, schema difference between source and target, and and let us reflect our migration schema in the target. Okay, apply. Okay, it's done. The second step is migration itself. So we have migration uh, wizard here. And uh, DB migrate uh, project. So let's start. So we have our source adventure works database. Our target, and as we mentioned previously, it might be managed instance, uh, virtual machines with SQL seller and SQL DB. We used platform solution SQL DB. Selecting database again, next. So we need to choose our target. Our target server. and target database, Azure Data Studio, ADS. Okay, so Azure Data Migration Service and integration runtime also 
uh, were installed and provisioned previously. I can show you very quickly. Azure Migrate Database and Azure Database Migration Service. We have integration runtime installed here. So this is agent-based migration process and we have this runtime installed here. Okay. Next. Run validations. We are migrating all tables. Next and start migration. So this process also will take some time. And we are able to see some progress here. So this is our task. And the status will be showed here in some time. During waiting, let's try to check. Uh -huh. So build has been completed successfully. Build Docker image. And create new app service plan. Resource group we already have it. Cloud. And this is container app service one zero zero one. Is to S great okay, continue, continue, continue. Uh, so this is our deployment information, just to double check and adjust our container of 01, port 80, apply. Continue. Review our final information about migration and deploy. Okay, so it's, it also uh, takes some time. We are not waiting it and moving forward. So this is Azure Data Studio migration. Uh, agent based with integration uh, runtime agent, but there is more simplest way to migrate using data migration assistant so we are able to quickly assess and migrate our database let's try to do that db assess database engine sql server or aws rds server and uh, the same our target will be platform SQL database. Great. So we need to specify our source database server. Adventure Works database. Start assessment pretty quickly. And upload our assessment to the Azure Cloud. 
to the Azure Migrate project. Okay, so it's done. And the second phase, migration itself. DB migration. Server, database. So using data migration assistant schema and data will be uh, will be applied as the same step. Adventure Works database next. This our target, so we need to copy the target. Specify. Specify credentials. And uh, DMA, Data Migration Assist. Okay, everything. Well, if for this, generate SQL script. Deploy schema. And migrate data. Start data migration. As you can see, very, very quick. <laughs> I think uh, to use data migration assistant is more suitable for small databases where we can quickly analyze and migrate it. So let's try to check what is going on. Here. Ah, okay, it's also have been completed. Uh, we can look some statistic here, but I prefer to use Azure portal, Azure migrate, Azure immigration, monitor succeeded. Let's drop this one. Uh -huh, this one. Okay, so all tables also has been migrated, but uh, this more time period in comparing this agentless uh, migration to uh, data migration assistant. So uh, from my point of view, this approach uh, more suitable for small databases. Agentless, it's uh, high availability migration strategy, and uh, we we can provision more than we can provision as many agent as we want for uh, for performing our migration process, and it will help us to to add redundancy for migration and. Uh, it's more suitable for big databases and we can leave it on, we can start it on some maintenance period during the night, for instance, and so on. And after that period, all databases uh, will be 
migrated. Uh, let's validate. Okay, so it's already deployed our container based web applications to the platform solutions uh, cloud. And should be container web app. So this is container based web applications. And let's try to check. Uh -huh. Container still in progress. We need to wait once entry point will be exposed. Okay, during the waiting, let's try to validate if our databases were really migrated to our target. So we have Azure Data Studio. Yeah, we have all tables here and the data migration assistant. The same situations, all tables here. So Okay, the container is starting here. During waiting, let's complete the final case, uh, Azure Virtual Machine Migrations. So we have already assessed it and replicated. So we have web applications that have been protected by Azure Recovery Vault and everything uh, was replicated to the, to the recovery vault. And we are able, as you remember, apply test migration in order to validate if everything is okay, if there are no any restrictions, uh, limitation and so on, migrate and stop replication. So let's try to migrate. Uh, but before that, uh, let's try to, okay, no problem. Okay, so it's starting uh, job migrations. During the waiting, I can show you how can we add some virtual machines to the migrate process. So as you remember, we have installed mobility agent to send a uh, replication uh, metadata to the Azure migrate replication appliance. And after that, we are able to replicate the end, uh, them. So we can choose these two uh, virtual machines in order to replicate and then migrate. We don't do that because it will take some time. So job is still in progress. Uh, container, okay, so entry point has started. Uh, let's refresh. Yeah. This is container-based deployment for web app, and it's working. Our ISP.NET applications uh, was containerized and migrated from, uh, from on-premise infrastructure to the Azure Cloud Platform solution, Azure Web App. Uh, let's try to validate our final. So virtual machines should be appeared here, yeah, here it is. Web app with cloud suffix. So this virtual machine that uh, that was migrated from on-prem environment to the cloud, 
maybe some same skew or different and so on and from migration perspective site to finish to finish migration process so fellower completed and our target uh, virtual machines has been deployed we need to stop replication the stop replication will remove uh, mobility agent from on-prem environment, uh, remove some replications, uh, stuff from recovery vault, and so on. Okay, looks like we have covered all cases and let me summarize them quickly. So for web app applications, we have, uh, we have Web app service migration assistant, app containerization helper that help us port our applications and uh, migrate it to the Azure Kubernetes cluster or Azure Web App. Databases, Azure Data Studio, and integrated with Azure uh, database migration service let me show you it again this one azure database migration service and installed uh, runtime agent that facilitates and coordinate uh, migration process to the cloud and a simple assistant uh, data migration assistant for small databases that help us to uh, migrate it quickly analyzed and uh, analyzed and migrate it uh, very quickly okay so short outcomes based on our demo so azure migrate is a single portal uh, to prepare run uh, monitor migration process to the azure cloud for different workloads uh, web service, databases, uh, virtual desktop infrastructure, and other data. Uh, assessment and migration might be completed in short time. Uh, modernized feature facilitate uh, port or containerize our applications and deployment to the cloud. The potential problem that uh, we might face to uh, is the first one, if we plan to manage cloud infrastructure with declarative approach like Terraform and so on. So we need, to, uh, we need to keep in mind that additional phases will require like importing uh, our resources to the Terraform state, uh, generate some uh, declarative definitions for our infrastructure and so on. And the same, for Kubernetes uh, modernization or deployments, we need to add or automate uh, generating building Docker image, adjusting Docker files according to the our requirements. And uh, the second uh, scene, it's uh, YAML manifest or Helm chart should be also uh, added to the our infrastructure, to the our repository in order to save our uh let's call it click ops uh, migration process uh, that were done previous uh i think that is all from my side and it's time for your questions <laughs>